So the first style I do, I start off with semi, you know, damp hair. It's a little, it's, it's kind of wet. Um, and I have a little bit of conditioner in, and I just like to put some leave-in conditioner. This is the Curls Blueberry Bliss Leave-In Restorative. I really, really like this. It leaves my hair so soft. So, for my whole head, because I do have conditioner in, I use about this much. Which a lot of people, that's a lot of product. But, I really like to moisturize my hair. And I have heat damage um, right here, if you can tell. And so, I really like to keep my hair really, really moisturized. Um, and so... After that, I put some extra virgin olive oil in my hair. And that is to add extra moisture as well. And then I put some grapeseed oil um, in my hair. And I add that to seal because grapeseed oil is a really good sealant. And I don't section it or part it. That's just doing too much work. So... Then I just, you know, shake it out. So, I, because my hair is just, you know, in this awkward stage, I don't really wear my hair out like this a lot because it shrinks. Like, it shrinks. Like, my hair is a pretty, pretty good length. Like, this isn't even the back of my hair. It's kind of like, it's starts right here. And so, my hair, it comes to, like, a good length right here. But it shrinks literally shorter than this. And I hate that, like. It's annoying because I work so hard for my hair, but I'm not going to get into that today. So, the first style I'm going to do is a frohawk. So, you use a bash, one size soft, one size hard. And I don't brush it too hard because I don't want, you know, it to start breaking my hair off, especially because this is my heat damper side. So, I use the uh, Blueberry Curls Control Jelly. And a lot of people do not like use this. You can use Eco Style Gel as well. But this works perfectly fine for me. And to lay my hair. And then I'll just lay my edges the way I want. I get some bobby pins. These are, you know, bobby pins I got from Walmart. And then you bobby pin. So, what I do is, I, is you see I put one bobby pin? I put this one on top. So, it's kind of like a crisscross. And so, then, I don't have to worry about my style losing longevity. And then I will be putting a little eco style gel because I have like a little piece in the front. And it's not laying right. A little bit of eco style gel. Now you can tie this down. Um, me. It normally forms the way I want it to. And then I will wear my hair like this. So this is a cute style that I rock when I want to be a little edgy. I want to do something a little different. Um, I'm going out. I'll put this on with hoops. Um, so I really like this style. I wear it a little damp. When it dries up, it dries really, really pretty. Um, sometimes I pin up this side as well and wear it like this with the little frohawk going on, but 
I normally like uh, this this way just because it's sleek and adds a little different and then you can see my hair and my definition as well so normally I find so back with my moisturized hair so I do have the olive oil the product of my hair so I really don't have to put too much more too much water in there if I do um, I always keep my handy dandy spray bottle it's right here just in case if the style is you know a style that I have to you know manipulate a lot so um, the next style is the puff this is my signature if you know me I rock the puff all the time because it's just easy for me. I am a co collegiate athlete, and so I get in the pool because I, my foot is messed up right now. And so this keeps my hair out the way, out of my face, you know, just out, you know, of harm's means. So you need a headband like this. Um, Eco Style Gel. Right now, I don't need Eco Style Gel. Um, I only use it sometimes if my hair is really, like, dry. Um, I put moisturizer and a little Eco Style Gel to gel my edges, but... Um, my hair is pretty, pretty good right now. So what I do is start by brushing my edges. I'm using the soft side because I really don't need too much heart. And then what I do is get the headband, put it around, and then I stretch it, wrap it around, and put my hair back. And then I put it around my head like this. And then I just scoot it up. And a lot of times I just wear my hair like this as well. But I will lift it up. And I like mine kind of in my face. And then I go to the sides. And then a lot of times I wear it just like this. So I pick out the front. And then once it dries, I know it looks a little crazy right now, but once it dries, it's really cute because it lays and it looks like a curl definition. But if not, I scoop this back and I pull it out. And then I wipe the extra water and the product off my face. And then sometimes I put a little heavy in, I'll lay my edges. The way I want to. I have like a piece of edge. And it's really long. Like it's a baby hair. And it's really long. And normally I cut it really short. But I haven't cut it in a while. Because I, I did have a sewing in. But it always does that. So I just rock this puff. Um, It's really easy. It's really simple. And it's my go to uh, style. So on to the next style. So the next style, you'll need a rat tail comb, and then your hair, of course. So I part it down the middle, and I don't make mine so precise. I just use a comb because it's easier to guide, and don't pull your hair so tight. Ease into it so you don't have breakage. I've only had breakage one time since I've been natural. And I've been off and on natural for a long time. So. My hair is long enough now to put in a ponytail. Like an easy ponytail. All the way back. Side ponytail. Y'all. So. This style is called the Tupa. Um, use this. in some Eco Styler Gel. And use the same headband as you use your puff with. And what you do, what I do is just gather. If y'all can see, I just gather from the back as well. And you can make it as me or as, you know. And I just stretch, stretch. And normally I wear buns. So, I just bun that up. And then with this side... I don't even need my brush. My hair is, I don't want to say it's fine. I have a lot, a lot of hair. But it's really easy to manipulate. So, a lot of times I don't even need a brush. Um, especially if my hair is like, 
sort of wet or soaking wet. I just honestly need my hands. So, I do wear, you know, the, um, the buns a lot. It's a really easy style. I'll show you the back. Because you see the back's not perfect, but it's a really easy style. You can wear this. I like to wear this when I'm deep conditioning and I have conditioner in my hair. Um, so I wear this, keep it in. It's still cute style, but I'm still getting something out of it. Um, and like I wear this to class. If I have to go out, I'll rock this. Oh, this is another style. Okay, my last style is probably the most difficult. So you start off with your hair. This is still in that puff that I had. And what you're going to do, I'm going to get a little closer to the camera. As you can see my texture. This is my heat damage side. So you can you can see the heat damage. It's got a lot, lot, lot better. But I still have it. And like my front is still different all the time. Especially towards my back. Which looks like this. So let's start off with the style. So what I'm going to do is start off really small. And flat twist. So guide my fingers. And make sure that my hair is really detangled. So, I'm not going to show that part, but it is really detangled. So, it's easy. Tough flat twist. Even though I do these styles, it's really easy. And then I start off because my hair is really, really thick. I just go under, go under, go under, and then it looks, you know, like this. It's not me, and especially this white product, but it will dry. Let us pin that in the back. And sometimes my pins don't work because my hair is so thick. Like, I have a lot of... A lot of hair. Like y'all just don't know. So pull out this side. As you see, this has a lot more definition on this side. And my hair is not perfect right now because I don't have much product and I have a little bit of like leave-in conditioner by macadamia. And so I just flat twist this side. And I don't make this perfect. This is like if I'm in a rush for class, I do the style. I pull that you pull that because I have a lot of middle hair so what you do is you just pull that you twist twist go to the back you pull the you pull the bobby pins out I mean you can bobby pin it in the back but I have a lot of hair so it doesn't matter how much bobby pins that you have it won't stay so I just get a ponytail holder ponytail that into a bun and then what I do is get my handy dandy scarf and even though it has, you know, white product in it, trust me, it, it will dry, trust me. And it will dry and the product, um, the excess product that I do have in it, it will go away like in five minutes. So normally like what I do is do this, like if I'm really rushing, um, I put my handy dandy scarf on and then y'all y'all get the memo so I put the scarf on you know keep it on or I put it like this around my head so you can just see the front the the twist and then I'll tie it in a knot And wear it like this. You know I mean? I'm not gonna go through the process, but I wear it like this. Or I put a hat on, cover the scarf, and wear it like that. So that's a really easy protective style. Normally I put conditioner in my hair. Um, a really, really good conditioner. Leave it on for a few days. And not just, you know, the hours. I put oils in my hair, keep it like that. And it keeps my hair really, really moisturized, really soft. Um, and uh, most of the time, like when I do twist like that if I'm not using conditioners I use a creme brulee 
by curls and curls if you haven't noticed is my favorite products to use i use these i use this for my twist it's my line this and kinky curly and camille rose those three i really don't go past i used to be really big in miss jesse's um with my hair first but now my hair is getting more textured so it's it still works don't get me wrong it still works on my hair but it's just not what it used to be so when i normally take that out it normally you know it's of course dry but normally i just let my hair do what it do do what it does i can put my hair back in a ponytail you know it looks a mess now but put it back and just do what i have to do and i try to not put a lot of manipulation on my hair it's just easy